Hi again, Randy the Mobile Home Guy here. Today we're going to go over a little bit of the things that are involved in replacing a shower or replacing a faucet for a mobile home. Um, so first thing we've done, we've turned the water off. And so what we want to do is we want to get a little bit of water out of the pipe, a little pressure. So what we do is we turn the water off and then we come inside here and we just turn this on, get a little bit of water, make sure the water is off. And then it'll get a little bit of water out of the line so then when we get behind the faucet we won't have to get a lot of water all over the place. So um, again, on this, turn the water off so we can't really get in this way at all to get the faucet out. We have to go around behind the faucet, directly behind it, and disconnect it from that way. Okay, so we'll look at that next. So here we are behind the, the wall of the faucet in the other room. So we've had to remove this panel. We have to take it off of here. Um, they don't usually make an access panel here, but sometimes you can cut a straight line here and just remove from there down, or those kinds of things. But either way, it happens we have to get inside of this wall. So we can see here's the fittings that we're looking for. So this is the back side of the faucet. And these are swivel fittings most of the time. So that means this is just going to turn off. And a lot of times they're just hand tight. So I want to be real careful turning these off. So we're just going to take all of these off. This is the one for the Coming. cold side here. Incoming message. And we're going to set it over to the side just a little bit. And then this is the one to go up to the shower arm here. Okay. And then here's the one for the hot. That one's a little rougher. There we go. Most of the time these will be swivel fitting, so they'll just be really good. So if you kind of relieve the pressure on the, on the elbow a little bit, just don't pull, just a little bit of pressure off of it. it turns a little easier. We can take that off there and then see we've taken those off. And there's going to be two little nuts on there. Sometimes they put a nut on this one here, but not all the time. So these just screw off most of the time. Just screw right off like that. One. This one's going to be a pain for today, it looks like, on the hot side. So we're going to try and get a wrench on that and get that off. Okay, so we have gotten a wrench on this and gotten this little nut right here loose. If you can see, it's this nut right here. This is what we're trying to get off, this little black ring right here. We're going to pull the faucet in a little bit. We've loosened it up. We're going to get it off there. So it just comes right off. And it comes off and then we can see we can kind of be careful and for someone on the other end to catch that that's great so one of the main things on getting the bathtub out and then again back in is trying to save the integrity of the drain system so we don't want to just kind of yank and pull and pry so we want to do that very strategically so we got the back of the wall off we've gotten the faucet out now we want to look at doing the drain. So the drain, if we look here, this main drain system here for just the tub. So this is the vent pipe here that leads up and usually out of the, out of the roof and outside. This is the T that main, goes down into the main drain. And this is what goes over to the drain inside of your, of your tub there. So if we can see that, we can see down in there, if we look just hard enough, that there's a P-trap down there, okay? And if we look even closer, we can see that drain right there. So the thing that we're gonna be looking to try and get off is this piece right here. See that piece right there? This is the drain, that silver piece there is the drain. This is a swivel nut that we can use to unscrew that and get, the dr get it off the drain, then the tumble will come right out. If that doesn't loosen up at all, we can then get the nut right here off of the P-trap, okay? We can get that off and unscrew that. So we're gonna wanna hold really tight here, this elbow, we're gonna wanna hold real tight and unscrew this if we're gonna go that way. Or we're gonna wanna hold really tight on the bottom P-trap there, this little area right here. Hold tight there and unscrew that. So again, holding tight to this portion, sorry, it's a little hard to get in there. The bottom portion, holding tight to that, unscrewing that, okay? 
Okay, so on this particular job, and it's not always the same, sometimes it'll go easy, sometimes it'll go hard, but we had to unscrew the P-trap nut, which is this one here, this nut right here, we unscrewed from that. And so you can see now that that is loose from there. So this nut we had to unscrew because this wouldn't come out. So we can still see if we wanted to pull up, it would hit the, the piece there. So on this regard, we just simply move this over a little bit so that we're going to miss that. So now if we pull the, the, P, the whole piece up, we pull the tub up, it'll miss this piece here. And once we get the tub up and out, we'll be able to save these pieces here. You can sometimes put a new washer in that gasket, a new gasket in there, and that'll be okay. New drain, I always suggest, but uh, at least now we're ready to pull that out. Okay, so that kind of what that looks like. Okay, so we got this here piece off. We can see how that used to be on there, and that got tore off. Just nothing really fancy. Just they staple a piece on there sometimes, and then push it onto that and screw the edges. Um, but we can see there's a. This is part of the tub here. It's an edge, so the piece coming down over that is supposed to prevent water backing up in there. So we can see there's also some screws periodically. So those will all have to come out. Okay, so we removed all the screws. So also there's a little flange down the side. We need to make sure that's unscrewed. The top piece all the way around is unscrewed. Okay, we've taken out the faucet and we've also taken out or pushed to the side the P-trap underneath of this hole on the other side of the wall there. So we can look and see. If you can see here, it's kind of loose there, okay? So it's ready to come out. So we can even see this bottom here. So we can see how easy that's gonna be to get out, okay? We'll just kind of take a quick look at that. Okay, so we got all the tub all totally loose here, so we're going to be ready to pull it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up one end of the other. I like to do the one on the P-trap side or the drain side, I lift it up a little bit. So I'm lifting up here, lift up a tiny bit, and we get under here, get that little corner. We lift it out a little bit. Lift the tub straight up like that. Okay? And then the tub is out. Okay? And here we set it there. Okay, so while we're trying to get this piece out of here, we're trying to uncoil this. It just wasn't coming out, so it had to get broken out. And we could see that no matter what we do, that's not going to be reusable there. So um, that's just going to have to be replaced. We can see the swivel piece here got glued in too much, so, so we have to. We couldn't get another fitting on in there. So this whole piece here is going to have to be replaced. So we do have a replacement piece for that. So this is that P-trap piece here comes with a new piece here. And then uh, we have to put in this new swivel piece here. So we can see it swivels and turns. And in the end there, that will get glued right into there like that. And we'll remake that piece, okay? And so this will screw onto the new drain after this gets glued into this piece here. And then we'll have to deal with from here on, okay? So now we're gonna do the drain on the tub. So what we need to do is we have our drain here. We have the nut, we have the little washer, and we have the drain piece, and we have the, the plug there. So we're going to take the plug out, set it to the side. We're going to take the nut off and hold that gasket. I'm going to hold that tight over to the side. We're going to put that to the side. And then we're going to grab a, some plumber's putty. So we need some plumber's putty. We're going to grab a little water of that, and we're going to roll it out, and we're going to make it into a little snake, something like this. So we roll it out until we get a little snake. And then we put it on the rim like this. So we go all the way around with it like this, okay? Uh -huh. A little extra. And then we just kind of push it on there like that, okay? Push it on here like that. And then we're going to put this on the inside of the tub. Here's the tub. Then we're going to put our gasket and then the nut. And then we're going to tighten that on there. We're just going to kind of cinch it on there. And they make several tools to hold this. So this here, right here, will actually hold this as we tighten the knot on there. So we're going to hold here and tighten the knot on there. Okay? Okay, and so once it's open, you're going to see this putty here kind of gooping out there. Just if you get a screwdriver and kind of hit around that rim, it just falls right off. Okay? And you never want to try and dig it out of there. We can see that if we just do it like that, so you never want to dig that there, but that looks like a good solid drain. 
Okay, here's inside the bathroom once we pull the tub out. Um, we see that we have this um, other piece of the P-trap right here. This is the, the threaded in there and it doesn't fit the new P-trap. Sometimes it's really great when this just matches right up to the new P-trap but sometimes those threads are a little different. And this is glued on so we'll have to get this off. And thankfully on this one they left us some pipe right here. So we can see that this is the fitting for the T. They have some pipe and then they have the the elbow. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a new fitting on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this back here somewhere. Probably a little closer right here because what we're going to put is a slip joint on here that you can screw on and we'll look at how that goes. So we're going to cut this piece off and take that off. Okay so your tub should come with a track with the tub in the box or by itself but it should come with it and what you're going to want to do this tub is 27 54 by 27 so you're going to want to measure from the wall 27 and on both sides 27 and then you're going to want to screw this in place that's before you put in the tub screw it several times now we're going to set the tub in there we've got our bottom track in there we've got the drain on we're ready to go so we're kind of going to push it like this here these are too hard to do um, because this bends pretty well. So we can see we can almost just kind of up in the other side this way. Pull this down and the top sits in there. And hopefully we measure it right. If we measure it right, right until it's bottom track there. So, turns out pretty good there. Pretty solid. And we'll do some screwing around the edges there, and that'll be that. Okay, now we're going to put on a one-piece surround, so it looks like, so we have to glue the wall here a little bit. So we want to take some of uh, some precaution on that, clean the wall real well, or replace it with some new material. Um, and then we want to put on some of this here, tub surround glue, okay? So we're going to glue it to the wall. I like to dry fit the piece first, it's a one-piece, I put it on, and you can see I've made a little mark right there, that kind of tells me how high I want to go on that. So on the sides, okay? So we can make it too fast there. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to knock this down with a spatula. Put it on real messy, knock it down with a spatula, okay? And then we're gonna put the tub on, the tub surround on. And then we're gonna pull it off, get it about 20 seconds of air, and then put it back on and smooth it out really well, okay? Okay, so now we've got the faucet on, the new faucet on, and it's really important that when you put these back on, that we don't just kind of throw them on there kind of sideways. I know you probably can't see that real well, so you can't just throw it on there just sideways, okay? We want to make sure that this is perfectly on straight, okay? We're looking because inside of this little piece here, inside of that little swivel, there's a little gasket in there. Probably hard to see there, but see there's a little gasket in there. And sometimes if that gets pushed in a little bit too much on one end, it'll make a little bubble and it'll leak, okay? So what we need to do is we need to make sure to kind of push it straight on back like it was and to screw it on really straight, okay? And again, we don't want to get really tight on these. These were hand tight before. I like to do a quarter turn with a wrench past hand tight, which we'll do here in a moment. But again, there we're that. And then we just need to make sure we're not pulling too much on the pipe down here. We're kind of getting straight on. See, again, we're straight in and then we're twisting, okay? And that should keep you from having that problem. Sometimes that little seal inside of there is broken or kind of cracked. And when you pull it off, it, that's just the death of that fitting. So you'll need to put on a new fitting. So um, that's just sometime you're going to want to buy something. You have these on hand sometime. And this is a push fitting. So you just cut this here and you push this new one on. And then you'd push it onto there sometimes. If you have a little bit of give in the pipe, you might have to uh, extend that a little bit. But if you have a little give, you can just take a little bit more and give that way. So, okay. So Okay, so we're ready to put on the P-trap. What we've done already is we've already put in the drain before we put in the tub. And then right now we just put on this little swivel piece here. That little swivel piece. And it's an inch and a half ABS bottom down here. I really like to have these. And then what we've done on this other side here where the T's here. Um, we've left a little bit of a, a pipe here out of it. We've cut it off right here and left it so we can put a new fitting on there. So what we can do is we can put our P-trap in here now. 
Okay, and then we can connect that side. Okay, and we can kind of move that around and we can put on this. And then we can move that around and glue that place over there in position and then screw this back together. Okay, look pretty straightforward. Hopefully it's helping you. Okay, so we finished up putting in the tub, pretty straightforward. Um, it is a little bit difficult here and there, but uh, these little pins help. Hopefully you'll get a few with those. You drill the holes and push the pin in and it kind of spreads out a little bit and holds it from the wall. So those, those really help hold it in there. Um, and then around the base there, um, the client likes to see that caulk, that edge down there, if you can see that. Um, the tub goes up under that about an inch and a half, so water doesn't really get in there, but it is a good idea to probably have it caulked, um, but you don't have to. Also, I like to caulk the top and sides of the faucet. Don't ever try to caulk the bottom of the faucet. If water does get behind the wall, you'd like it to be able to drip out from underneath the faucet. And the theory is that water's not gonna kinda come up from that. So again, I would just kinda caulk the edges, and then uh, basically we're all done with that. So pretty straightforward for that area, okay? All right. Thanks for watching how to install a bathtub.